Hello, this is Territorial Tom. We're out at uh, our organic farm out in uh, London, Oregon. Today I thought I would show you a little bit of insight on our seed production program. Uh, some people may not know that uh, Territorial Seed is actually its own largest seed supplier in many different categories. And one of the programs that we have here at Territorial uh, that we're particularly fond of is our lettuce seed production. And we've worked at this for well over 20 years to um, provide varieties and, and seed lots that are very uniform. And this isn't always the easiest thing to do, and it is time consuming, but we think in our end product, our customers enjoy the extra effort that we put in uh, to a lot of this handwork. And uh, there's a lot of good, I think, craftsmanship that go into this from all of our staff. But I was going to show you a couple things that we do here to ensure that we have very good uniform crops. And I'm going to show you a couple things that can uh, that we work towards uh, that it helps ensure that our crops are very even and uniform. And if you look across the crop, you can see that uh, we want it to look like um, basically peas in a pot. It should be all from the time it germs to the time it's, it's growing up. It's very uniform and even. That's what we're looking for, is the quality of the product is judged by how uniform the crop is. So what is a normal practice when you do seed crop like this? Because literally we got hundreds and hundreds of plants in a relatively small plot. Uh, we're looking for uh, uh, anomalies that we don't want to have in there. This is a normal course of business. And it's one of the things that when we raise our own seed crops, uh, we feel really good about the fact that we can go in and take off types out and feel good about that. And when we start with crops, many times there's lots of different off types in these crops depending on where the original source of seed came from. So we have to work with it a number of years to get it as even as this looks. But even after working with this for a number of years, um, there will be throwbacks that, that pop up that we want to get rid of. And we're trying to make sure that uh, we that all of our crops are in that 1% category. If there's going to be an off type, you know, we'd like it to be uh, one out of 100. No one's going to be disappointed with that. And I'm going to show you uh, what can happen. And uh, the, one of the first things that, that um, we look for is there's two types of off types. One's going to be that we consider to be off type. One is it's so totally different than the rest of the crop that um, we don't want it to be in there at all because if we left it in there, the, the, when that plant throws seed, that's that plant's children, of course, and then that's going to be reproducing itself uh, in your garden, and it isn't going to be what we want you to have. So uh, here's an example over here. As you can see, each row of these have probably 150 plants. Everything looks really good. Uh, as a percentage, the numbers look good. But we get over in this row, and here's one that is obviously totally different. So uh, this one goes like that. It's not in the crop anymore. And it likely uh, probably came because it's so totally different. Uh, this was probably something that was in the seed cleaning process uh, in previously. As much as we don't want it to happen, every once in a while one seed here and there will get hung up in some part of the process because there's many steps to cleaning seed. So as hard as we don't want that to happen, it will happen. It happens to every seed company, but it's how do you take care of the problem? So this this problem is now taken care of. It's not going to reproduce children in this crop. So another uh, thing that we look for in the uniformity of the crop is uh, we want it, here again, we want it to, from the time it's, uh, the seed is started through its whole process, we want everything to be uh, very uniform in the field. And once in a while, you're going to get a variety that wants to bolt early, not a variety, but an individual plant, I should say, that wants to go to seed early. And if you look across the field, you know, there's very few of this happening. So yeah, it's going to vary a little bit, but, but 
something like this is not what you want. You can see how it's already forming, starting to form its flowers, and these guys beside it isn't. This is what happens. It's gone. And the reason we do that is we don't want, if, if we were to let that go ahead and set seed and we just harvested that, chances are the next generation is going to want to do the same thing and it starts to get variability in the crop. We do not want that to happen. It, it's a quality control measure and uh, it's, it's a normal process of roguing and we rogue heavy through crops to make them look very uniform. Well, this is Territorial Tom. Till next time, remember, cheap seed is always more expensive than quality seed.